All right, here we go. Today we are talking about grip strength. So welcome back to another Technique Tuesday. So we've had somebody ask how they can increase their grip strength. One thing to bear in mind is that there are different types of grip strength. You have more of an active style of grip strength where you are opening and closing your hand or you are moving your hand. And then you have more of a passive type of grip strength when you're doing say something like a deadlift or you are doing something where you are just holding things in your hand. Now, there are a whole bunch of different ways where you can strengthen your grip. Farmer's carries are a great one. We're not gonna go through farmer's carries today, but I'm going to go through two movements that you can use to strengthen your grip. Number one is going to be a dead hang and number two is going to be using the implement that we have on the ground here which is a really simple thing to make up. You can make it up at home. All you need is you need a piece of rope and you need a PVC pipe. So with these two movements what I've found when I've been using them to strengthen my grip is there's a lot of other benefit that we are getting from these. So let's go through the first movement. So I don't even really know what we would call these. I'm sure there is a nice technical name for them, but we're just basically rolling up and down the light weight on this dowel. Now, how we've made this up, as you can see, we've just taken a drill, we've drilled a hole through the middle of this piece of PVC pipe, and we've tied a rope through there, just a nice light rope. We're only going to do this with a relatively light weight. We're not trying to do it with a heavy weight. Now, when I do this, if I'm doing this movement to try and strengthen my grip, the way I'm going to do it is I'm gonna extend my arms out and then I'm just rolling one at a time, taking that weight down and then moving it back up. What I wanna do when I do it is I'm trying to only move from my wrists, I'm not moving from my elbows and I'm not doing it like I'm rowing this piece of dowel. What I'm doing is I'm trying to keep it nice and controlled all the way up and all the way down. Now this is going to do a lot of things to help strengthen your grip. You'll notice that it's active and while I'm not opening and closing my hands, what it is really, really good for is to try and help strengthen those extensors. So this is a really great exercise for somebody that might have, say, tennis elbow, just because one of the causes for tennis elbow can be quite weak grip and quite weak extensors. Now, when you do this, you are not going to be able to do a whole bunch of reps. You will find if I'm here and I'm rolling that weight down towards the floor and then rolling it back up, your arms are gonna be quite fatigued after one rep. So from a rep scheme point of view, if you're going to use this, you're gonna jimmy this up for yourself at home. What I do is I only do maybe five sets and maybe three total reps up and down to start off with. And then as you find your grip strength increasing and you're able to do more, you can increase this. But this is just something a little bit unconventional that we've got here. We didn't invent it, I'm not gonna take credit for it. It is something that I had seen, I can't remember where I've seen it before, but um, it is quite a good instrument, quite a good exercise for those of you that wanna not only increase your grip strength, but also keep nice healthy forearms, nice healthy wrists, and nice healthy elbows. The second movement is just a very, very simple one, and it's going to work that passive grip strength, and it's literally just finding a bar and hanging from it. So if I come and jump up on this bar, I'm making it hard for my cameraman here passing behind all those uprights. I'm just gonna jump up, I'm gonna wrap my fingers and thumbs around the bar and I'm just gonna hang. Now, there's two types of hangs you can do. You can do a passive hang like I'm doing now where I'm just hanging out, kind of letting my sh shoulders slump down or I can do an active hang where I'm gonna pull that scapula down towards my, sh my shoulder blades down towards my back pocket. When we do the active hang, when we do that hang, what I usually coach is I usually coach thumbs around the bar. And the reason why is a lot of people that we're doing this with are trying to use it, if they are using it to build their grip strength, they're using it to transition into lifting. So deadlifting, power clean, snatches, things like that. So with all of those movements, those movements are all done with the thumb around the bar. There are a lot of other benefits for doing a dead hang with your thumb around the bar, working down again through your wrists and through your elbows to try and reduce the risk of say lifter's elbow, golfer's elbow and things like that. But the, the, there are so many benefits to hanging. Grip is just one of them. You're gonna get 
some good shoulder strength there. You're going to get some good midline strength. It can help decompress the lower part of your spine. But just with the hanging, just make sure that you're in a position where you can do it. If you have some shoulder issues, maybe check with someone to make sure it's okay. So in regards to grip strength, I've just gone through two things that you can do. As I said, there are so many other movements that you can add into your arsenal to try and help build that grip strength outside of just doing more deadlifts or more cleans or whatever it is that you're trying to build that grip strength for. All right, so we've got the roll-ups, we've got the dead hangs. That's our grip strength workout for this Technique Tuesday. If you like it, share us around. If not, I'm going to see you next week anyway. Bye.